Well, good day. As we share stories from our books, it's always so much fun to hear what you may be thinking as well. And I try to pick out books that are seasonal as well as stories that maybe impact your life in some way or the other. And lately I've been trying to share stories about fall because fall is here. We've shared a couple about Halloween already and we'll share a few more about that one. But my story today is called Taste and See. And it's by Teresa Johnson Borkert. So let's see what our story called Taste and See might be about. It's a little bit shorter story today. When and where do you see taste, hear, smell, feel, and know the goodness of God? Well, I see the goodness of God in the pink tulips that bloom in April and in the beautiful sunset on a summer night. And in the waves of the ocean on a clear breezy day. And in the colors of a peacock as it spreads its feathers. I taste the goodness of God in a cold glass of lemonade on a hot afternoon and in a stick of cotton candy at my favorite amusement park. I hear the goodness of God in the chirping of the birds at the dawn of the day and in the sounds of the crickets by the pond late at night. And in the song of the carolers on Christmas Eve and in the ringing of the church bells for church on a Sunday morning. And in the scent of a fresh pine tree at Christmas time. And in the smell of a campfire in the woods during autumn. I feel the goodness of God in the wet lick of a puppy on my face. The puppy actually looked like the dog a little bit I had once upon a time and in a bed full of pillows as I go to sleep at night. And in the soft fur of my kitten when she sits on my lap. And in the dark trickle of snowflakes falling down on my eyelashes. But most important of all, I know the goodness of God in the loving kiss of my mom every morning when I awake. And in the strong hug from my dad after he gets home from work. And in the laughing of my sister or my brother as we play a game and in the love of my entire family. I see, taste, hear, smell, feel, and know the goodness of God in all of these things because God made all of them. And that ends my story about where I taste and see God. God is all over the place. What a wonderful story to remind me of just that fact. I hope you enjoyed my story today called Taste and See, The Goodness of the Lord. Thanks for joining me.
Blessings. Take care and bye-bye for now.